People angry about the president's trip to Pittsburgh are making themselves heard today, rallying in huge numbers as the first couple paid tribute to the victims of the synagogue shooting. Fox News correspondent Garrett Tenney has more from Pittsburgh. President Donald Trump and the First Lady arrived in Pittsburgh Tuesday, greeted by massive protests near the Tree of Life Synagogue. The streets were filled with people chanting and holding signs, reading messages like, Go Home Trump and Words Matter. They say the commander in chief bears some of the blame for Saturday's shooting, specifically his recent declaration of being a proud nationalist and his repeated attacks on marginalized groups like immigrants. Critics say that kind of aggressive talk only emboldens bigotry and may have fueled the gunman's hatred for the Jewish people. He is not welcome here because he is not welcoming to others. After lighting candles for the victims, the president and first lady honored Jewish burial tradition, placing small stones of white markers outside the synagogue, one for each of the 11 worshipers killed. Later, they visited a hospital to meet with some of the people injured in the shooting, including a few responding officers shot by the gunman as he tried to flee the synagogue. He expressed his thanks for their service and his sorrow over their injuries and really wanted to hear some of their stories about the event and what's been going on since then. The presidential visit came after the first funerals earlier in the day. Thousands of mourners packed a different synagogue and Jewish community center to bid farewell to four of the victims. I'm so overwhelmed with sadness right now that I can't even be angry right now. I'm just, it's just such a loss. Burial services are expected all week for the remaining congregants. There has been a nationwide outpouring of support for this community, including from a pair of Muslim groups, which have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars now to help cover some of the funeral cost. In Pittsburgh, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News.